Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to solve this simple math problem. All right, so the question is, a number squared plus 1 is 26. And the actual question is, what is this number or numbers? Okay, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is actually two numbers. And I'm going to use uh, this variable n to represent this number. So the correct answer is both positive and negative 5. So positive 5 is an answer, and so is negative 5. Now, a lot of people likely just answered with positive 5 as the answer. But uh, if that is your only solution, well, you are only 50% correct because negative 5 is an answer as well. Okay, so if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm a bit confused. Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first step to solve this problem is to translate this verbal sentence into a variable or algebraic sentence or equation. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, are you going to be using algebra to solve this problem? Well, indeed, I am. Now, anytime you have a math problem and you are looking for an unknown value, now, in this case, we're looking for a number, right? So some number, we're going to square it, plus 1 is 26. So anytime you are looking for some unknown value, you want to think of using a variable to represent that number. So in this uh, case, I'm going to use the variable n to represent this number. So what we need to do is translate this verbal sentence into an algebraic equation. So that is step one. So a number, or n, squared plus is the same thing as the addition operation. So plus one is 26. Okay, so let's go ahead and translate this right now. All right, so again, I'm going to use the variable n as uh, this number, or to represent this number. So a number squared, what does it mean to square a number? Well, we have to put the exponent of 2. So 3 squared is that, 2 squared is this, and 5 squared is this. So we have to put the exponent of 2 on this number, n. Okay, so a number squared plus 1 is, now the is word is the same thing as the equal sign in mathematics. So a number squared plus 1 is or is equal to 26. So this really boils down to this equation here. A number squared plus 1 is 26. So n squared plus 1 is equal to 26 is the same thing as the verbal sentence. A number squared plus 1 is 26. So if we can solve this equation right here, we can answer the question. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so now that we translated this verbal sentence into this algebraic equation, all we need to do is solve for the variable n, and we will be done. So we have n squared plus 1 is equal to 26. Now, this type of equation in algebra is called a quadratic equation. This is uh, very important to know how to solve. But uh, this particular equation is really easy to solve for. And let's take a look at the steps right now. Okay, so n squared plus 1 is equal to 26. The first thing that we're going to do is subtract 1 from both sides of the equation and add down in a column manner. So that way we get our n squared all by itself on one side of the equation and 26 minus 1 is 25. So now we're down to the equation n squared is equal to 25. 
Okay, so to solve for n, all we have to do is to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So the square root of n squared is n, and the square root of 25 is both positive and negative 5. Now, don't confuse uh, the square root of 25. Let's just say I gave uh, this as a simple question, and I said, hey, what's the square root of 25? Well, by itself, uh, the answer here is 5. This is called the principal uh, square root. But when you are taking the square root of a number in terms of a quadratic equation, you have to put in that negative root as well. Okay, so our number or numbers is both uh, 5 and negative 5, and we can check this in the original equation. Okay, so n is equal to both positive and negative 5, meaning that one answer is a positive 5, and the other answer is a negative 5. So let's go ahead and check, uh, check both of these solutions back into the original problem. So a number squared plus 1 is 26. So if that number is 5, well, that's 5 squared, or 25 plus 1. That, of course, is 26. But uh, if that number is negative 5, well, that means take negative 5 and square it. So we have to put negative 5 in parentheses. So negative 5 squared is uh, a positive 25. Positive 25 plus 1 is also 26. Okay, so again, the key to solving this problem is really kind of two steps. So the first is knowing how to translate a verbal sentence into an algebraic equation. And this is what you do in a lot of uh, math word problems. So you have to understand those key words like is and plus. But uh, the only way you're going to understand that is to learn this stuff and then practice, practice, practice. But uh, the first step is to know how to translate a uh, verbal sentence into an algebraic equation. Then you need to know how to solve these equations. Okay, so again, this is really important stuff in algebra. And I think this is a pretty simple uh, example. Hopefully you didn't find this uh, too difficult. But uh, again, all this stuff you can learn. The key here is to identify what you don't know and then learn it and then practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.